I have nowhere, nowhere, even to take my son right now. My son, I'm a Malisa, ni mtu mkubwa saa hii, akona ID. Ako wamechukua ID saa hii. Hakuna maali ni naeza muambia huku ni konyumbani. Wali usa pale nyumbani. Hapa ni kaburi da mbabaya kwa lizikuwa. Hakuna. I have nothing. Hakuna. Wali usa mpaka hiyo kaburi. Na wakahama, wakaenda somewhere, I don't know. Even the eulogy, they didn't recognize me what? first. What? If, it wa if not for the teachers and the musicians who knew me as the wife, wife. they didn't recognize me at first. So, Waliandika uh, mtu mingina as the wife? Mtu mgani uyu? Uh, mwenye waliandika ni yule musichana alipata mtoto. Mm. Yes, uyu first of all. Mm. Why to Sasa? We only alikuwa recognized mm. as the legal wife. Mm -hmm. he, he was very proud of me. Mm. Ana, ana penda muri na rest in peace. Alikuwa tu ana ni penda yani ile si kujificha. Una jua watu ingine yeye yeah, ame ame soma na ana chukua mtu wa form four. Ame acha watu ingi mm. na ku proud of me. Ana ambia watu this is my wife. Ni my wife. Hello and a warm welcome to Tuko Talks. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, my guest today met and fell in love with her maths teacher and they had an amazing life together. But when he died, his family sold everything and even chased her away from their home. But she says she might be broken, but she is not out. And so without further ado, please allow me to let her introduce herself. Mami, habari yako? Mzuri. Ajin. Introduced her fatherly. Yes, mm -hmm. my names are Maureen Atieno yeah. Wanjaro. Uh -huh. I was born and raised in Miguri County uh -huh. in a small village called Ngege. Uh -huh. There is where I went to primary school, yeah. high school. That is where I was raised yes. with my mom and my dad yeah. plus the siblings. Plus your siblings. Yes. How was life like growing up? Life was just normal yeah. because it was just a normal family, not that a wealthy one. Mm. It was just ile familia ya kawaida. Mm -hmm. So life was normal. Mm. Tuliko tunaenda shamba kawaida kwa mm. mto, mm. chota maji, mm. kulima yeah. kawaida. Hey. Yeah, so maisha ilikuwa tu poa. Yes, ilikuwa tu poa. Aha. Yes. Ukaenda high school. Nika maliza primary. Yeah. Then I went to high school. Yeah. A day school. In just a nearby, in the village, yes. called Kadika Girls. Uh -huh. It was a day school, yeah. boarding in a day. Okay. From one and two, they, you can day school, yeah. but from three and four, you have to board. It's a boarding school. So I started the day schooling. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. There I met the love of my life, and he was my teacher. Ali but Kacha. when we were in, the, in school, eh. I was very innocent, and I was very young. So I, did, I didn't know anything about love. Mm -hmm. I just know it is a, a relationship with the teacher, yes. a good relationship. Yeah. Love was not in my mind. Teacher na kupenda tu, yes, akupati punishment. I don't know. Eh. I was class prefect eh, okay. and he, he was a class teacher. So you were very disciplined. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. eh. So I was the prefect eh. and my teacher was... My class teacher at the same time, maths mm. teacher. Yes. So we bonded as yeah. a teacher and as a student. student. Which form was this? You were yes, in form? I was in form one. Kutoka form yes, one? Yes, form one. Ah, yeah. yes. uh -huh. So I went from one, yeah. form two, then from three. No, I didn't go to form three, that, that Kadika girls. Yes. When I was in form two, yeah. there was issue with the school fees. Mm -hmm. So my teacher was worried. Mm -hmm. Why are you no why are you being just because of school fees? Yeah. Yeah. So I just a full amount of school fees. Uh -huh. suppose sometimes I'm not in school. Okay. So he followed up. I can eat a staff room one. One day I can Uliza, can I help pay your school fees? I told him no. I was a can, itauli ambia baba wazazi nimetoa pesa wapi. I was mm. very innocent. Mm. Si kujua mambo za pesa wala nini. Mm. Akaniambia nataka kukuja kwenu. I refused. 
Yusi juu nitaenda kuambia mama yangu huyu ni nani mm. na, na tena si aongee lugha yetu mm -hmm. atiacha mwalimu atakuja nyumbani aje. Yeye alikuwa mkikuyu. Yes alikuwa mkikuyu. Hey. Enda mali. Uh, yes. Mimi ni mjaluo. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So ali insist nikakataa. Bado hajaniambia ananipenda ile ya mapenzi. Mm. Anapenda tu anataka nisome. Mm -hmm. So nikamwambia wacha nitaenda kuulizia ndio nikwambie kama unaweza waona nikaambia tu mama yangu mm. after some time i insist my teacher insisted one day nikaambia my mom akaniambia he na uchunge but anaweza tembea tu but baba yako atasema nini my dad ni mkali mm -hmm. so nikakataa kumleta nyumbani kumwambia ende one day he followed me after six tukienda nyumbani he followed me pole pole apole pole mpaka akajua nyumbani mm -hmm. mahali nimeingia mm -hmm. and it was on a friday mm -hmm. the next day was weekend saturday so mr njaro popularly known as mr njaro yes. kadika girls eh. mr njaro came that following saturday akakuja mpaka home akasema hodi akandoa karibu i was in the kitchen mm -hmm. My mother was not around. My dad was in the house and the siblings were just around mm. the compound. Mm. So I was in the kitchen nika chungulia. Who is that? Wa nikaona ni my teacher boy. Nikatoka nikamwambia mwalimu, what are you doing here? How did you know where I come from? How did you know my home? Nakasema no problem. I just want a cup of water. I'm thirsty. Hey Yes, come on here. So in the process here, yeah, the process we were talking outside. Yes. Dad came out. Yeah. Why are you talking with the visitor outside? Come inside. Yeah, juu ni nani? Mm. Akaingia. Mm. Akakaa. Akapewa maji. Mm. Nini nikaenda kitchen? Ulikuwa na miaka ngapi sahi? When I was in form 1, eh. I was just 14 years. Okay. Yes. Eh. I was 14. Mm. So akaingia ka kunywa maji akaanza conversation with my dad mm -hmm. so um Mr Njaro I come from Moranga and I teach Kadika girls and I've seen your daughter is very hard working in school and discipline I would like to help because he has she has told me she has a problem with school fees mm -hmm. dad and I'm skiza mm. akasema so what do you want to do Yes, right now I don't have money. I'm just a farmer. I'm struggling at the little I get. Mm -hmm. That's why she's in a day school. Mm -hmm. The waliongea, mama kaja, akajoin the conversation, akajua ni my teacher. So the mwalimu ali insist kabisa anataka ku help with the no strings attached. Yes. Akasema tu yeye atasaidia. Mm -hmm. So alitikia kusaidia akasema hata 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 kusema anything. Atasema mimi ninampenda nataka asome so after kumsaidia asome uh, something else can come in uh -huh. but right now my aim is that Maureen asome okay so uh, tulitikia father akasema ni sawa so alikuwa ananilipia mm. from 2 third term uh -huh. when i went to form 3 mm. i had to board akasema i don't want Maureen to continue schooling kadika girls where i teach please mom tafuta shule ingine a very good boarding school aende mm -hmm. so mama katafuta shule akatafuta st mary's girls mm -hmm. mabera mm -hmm. iko subakuria okay. just migori county still eh, eh, eh. nikaenda boarding ah, so nilikuwa na nasoma eh. Mid, mid, mid term shule zikifungwa ninakuja nyumbani yeye yeah, anakuja tu tunaongea sa family hivyo hivyo anatutembelea tu hivyo hivyo uh, akija shule visiting ako na my mom okay so akikuwa <laughs> na anything fishy so at, alikuwa na familia ama akuwa na familia uh, akuwa na familia so akuwa hata na bibi akuwa na bibi ndio he was fresh from Nairobi University okay na hiyo kadika girls was the first school Inyalikuwa. he was posted to yeah okay hiyo ndio ilikuwa shule yake ya kwanza eh. right from campus okay yes so ikaenda ikaenda hivyo mpaka nikamaliza when i finished alikuja na marafiki eh akakuja sherehe 
akatoa Morin nyumbani officially akasema sasa before akuje officially akaku one day tukiwa nyumbani akasema mimi vile ninaendelea kusaidia huyu msana mm. I've realized she's a good girl mm -hmm. so I would like I would wish my wish mm. is to marry her mm. akue bibi yangu eh na wewe ulikuwa na mfeel mimi nilikuwa nampenda kama mwalimu ana alikuwa anafanya vitu vizuri sana ah boni butu ambia so uko na mfeel so I started feeling huyu eh. mtu siwezi mwachilia na I love him ah, okay when I was I was in form 3 yes. form 3 yes mwisho mwisho akukua na tuchali tulikuwa tunakukatia huko tule twakuandika bahasha unaweka kapa my you. first love ni sijawahi date anybody in our ngege village wewe hata ni hii mchezo mchezo no sijawahi cheza hiyo mchezo i love this you, so <laughs> i it was i started feeling yani tunavuliza ni nasema wewe ni mwalimu na ni mzuri akina amejitolea kunisaidia niende shule So nilikuwa naona kweli ni, ni mtu mzuri <laughs> mapenzi ikaanza kugonga roho yangu na hapo. Okay. So na, na respect alikuwa mtu respectful. Alikuwa mtu down to earth by usijawahi kukutana na mtu kama yeye. Alikuwa tu mtu mzuri anasikizana mm. na anybody. Eh. So wakati nilimaliza alisema ata ananioa. Nikasema ninakupenda. Ulikuwa na miaka muranga. 18. Sasa nikimaliza nikimaliza high school. Oh, yes, eh. atakuja na watu. Eh. Wazazi hawako complain. Walisema kama unampenda na tumemsoma mm. mwalimu mzuri na is a good is a gentleman. Mm. Kama umeamua na roho yako siwezi kukuambia usiende Muranga. Ah, Nimeupatia blessings. Hakukuwa na msichana wa Nyanza hawezi kanyanga Muranga ama watu hapo kwa kijiji walikuwa wanasema nini. By then sikuwa najua hii hatred watu wanachukiana. Mimi yeah. ainiu nimependa mtu na ananipenda mambo maisha iko sawa. Akisema tuende Muranga yes. tunaenda Muranga. Muranga. Okay. So it was on December. Eh. After kila kitu sherehe akanitoa officially nyumbani. Chui. Akito akindi akanipeleka mpaka Muranga. Eh. Muranga tukapata wazazi. It was also a humble family. Si mambo mingi nyumba tu. Mm. Eh, George aka introduce. Ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Labda alikuwa anawaambia amepata msichana anapeleka. Eh. So tulienda wana koroga. Kikuyu mimi sielewi kitu ngo. Mm. Waka koroga uka koroga sasa ukaongea Kiswahili wazazi. Uh -huh. So tuka si kuna anything strange when we were at home yeah. the day of introduction even that day utulika nyumbani i didn't see anything strange mm -hmm. any alarm i didn't hata kama walikuwa nayo they hidden hawakukuonyesha yes hawakunionyesha mm. walika tu wamenikaribisha and that was all tukarudi guys oh no eh. <laughs> when <laughs> Wanjero alipata transfer from from Kadika Girls. Yes. When I was in the fourth year. Okay. So hiyo mwaka yote I was just in school, mm. ya anakuja tu visiting. Vi, anakuja tu nyumbani closing day, mm. anakuja tunakaa kidogo anarudi. Okay. So he was transferred to Gashanjiro High School. Mm. It is in Dika. Okay. So do you know Gashanjiro? Yes, yes. Yes, Gashanjiro High School. Eh. So Wanjero alikuwa naishi teachers quarters mm. Gashanjiro High School. Okay. Tukaja eh uko gashanjiro okay. and we started life there yeah. as a husband yeah. and a wife yeah. from one house everything you share everything now you are one yeah. yes na umempenda kabisa yeah nilikuwa hata i was just comfortable yeah. watu wanashangaa teachers wanashangaa this little girl ana nini so watu walishangaa but he, he was very proud of me mm. ana anapenda muri na Oh, rest in peace. Alikuwa tu ananipenda, yani ile si kujificha. Unajua watu wengine yeye yeah, ame, amesoma na anachukua mtu wa form 4, ameacha watu wengi. Mm. Na ku proud of me, anaambia watu this is my wife. Ni my wife. Wow. Si wengi wanaweza fanya hivyo. Si wengi. So tukakaa mm. akanipeleka after result kukuja akanipeleka nini? college nikafanya hii mambo ya hair dressing and beauty alikupeleka mpaka college yes akanipeleka eh. na akaniwekea very beautiful salon yes. ilikuwa uko dhika keno eh. salon mzuri sana nimekaa hapo nimefanya kazi sana hapo eh. yes okay mm. so aki, akitoka huko achakula anapata imepikwa oh, vizuri yes. Yes. <laughs>
kila kitu eh. umena na mkaangia sawa sawa wewe na mkaangia umena <laughs> tunakula na kaka pili pili ukumena eh. yes uh -huh. after breakfast unaiweka umena alikuwa anapenda umena eh. na fish hiyo <laughs> sawa kabisa eh, eh tukakaa tu na raha na hiyo maisha yetu uh -huh. ya chini tukaninuka tu tukiwa na yeye uh -huh. yes okay alafu in our marriage mm. sorry to say kulikuwa na mtoto mm. siwezi sahau mm. so mtoto tulimpata ushago mm. the day nilienda introduction mm. a very young boy mm. barely 2 years mm. so nika learn from mm. home mm. from my husband mm. ti huyu ni mtoto alipata out of wedlock mm -hmm na msichana mwingine so yeye ndiye wako na mtoto okay so hakukuficha hakunificha mm. but alificha huko nyumbani kwenye sasa so alifunguka tu nyumbani yeye amefika yes ulimuuliza mbona huko umeniambia hii mambo yote na ungekuja yeah, bado na yes, yeye kaongezwa yes. kona mtoto nili nilimuuliza nili hey. why did you hide this from me akasema i knew the love i love you with mm. i love you so much such that i feared when i tell you the truth about the boy you will definitely leave me nikamwambia kuendange hivyo but maji yakamwagika hayazoleki nikamwambia all in all yeah mtoto ni blessing wacha tu tukae na yeye juu i'm part of you the boy unasema ni wako so nyinyi wote ni part of me siwezi acha shosho akae na hiyo shago tuenda tuenda na yeye so tukakaa na huyo kijana huko kaishanjiru tukaenda na yeye. Mhm. Mm so tulikaa tulikaa nikapata mtoto wangu. Mm -hmm. Yes, tu tu nikapata another kijana. Mm -hmm. So nikakawa na two boys. Yes. So nikakuwa na hawa two boys plus the father. Mm -hmm. Mpaka siku ile alikufa. Mm -hmm. That was 207 February 7th to 7th. To 7 wanjaro died. Ilikuwa the story is sad kwa sababu huyu mtu tumependana naye na hajawahi kuwa mgonjwa ni homa tu inashika mtu ya kawaida mimi i have never seen mr tanjaro amekuwa mgonjwa it was my first time mm. na the day alianza kuwa mgonjwa alikuwa anaenda kuimba he was a teacher at the same time a, a musician. musician so he was to go to perform rabingara hiko hapa Nairobi ngara mm. uh, popularly known hotel mm. rabi mm. alikuwa anapenda sana kuitwa hapo rabi ngara mm -hmm. so alikuwa anaenda huko bahati mzuri ama mbaya i went with him that that evening mm. so show ikiwa i was with him there akaanza tu kukomplain na niko na headache niko na headache aishi panadol inakuja panadol extra mara moja haikuisha morning tukaenda ni hospitali tukaenda nyumbani huko mm. Gaishanjiro mm. the headache continued anikampeleka pale Gaishanjiro mission hospital mm -hmm. akapimwa kila kitu hakuna so that was the second day mm. we tukaona hii ni serious mm. i went to the principal the wife of the principal alikuwa anaitwa mama wangare if i can rem recall mm -hmm. remember mm -hmm. nikamwambia Wanja Mr. Njaro is not feeling well. Nimempeleka hospitali asikie vizuri. Mnaweza nisaidie aje? Tukampeleka Kenyatta. So the third day akawa Kenyatta. Wazazi nikawambia kijana aligonjeka hivyo hivyo. Mzee baba yake akaja mm -hmm. akaja Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Mimi ikabidi nirudi kwa sababu mm. kuna watoto mm. nikaenda kuangalia watoto. Mm. Hii process kidogo mzee the father alimtoa na style nyingine aieleweki Kenyatta. Mm. Akasema anampeleka nyumbani mm. atajua vile atamtibu eh. mm -hmm. So mimi nilishtuka tu wanjaro ametolewa Kenyatta. So akaja nyumbani. That was the fourth day. Mm. Akaja nyumbani Mzee akaniambia wewe muangalie mimi narudi Morang. Sasa ulimtoa hospitali kwa nini Kenyatta Hospital na ni the best hospital mm -hmm. kama hajafanywa anything. Usiku ikazidi. That is the fourth day lean. Nikaambia bibi ya principal ikabidi tuchukue Mr. Njaro paka Morang Hospital. 
kumpeleka moranga sasa ni mtu hajiwezi hajiwezi ameshindwa kabisa he was admitted akanikwamilia sasa hii ni usiku si mchana mm. ni usiku nani the sixth day mm. akanikwamilia analia tu anasema morin 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 akuwa anasema kitu kingine so akalia kalia so doctors waliona amekushikilia tu amenishikilia na nikufa na kufa la muda wao wanaona mtu akifika nikufa mm. so waliniambia you know you have to go now the doctors you have to go we want to check on him you must go mm-hmm. so akanitoa wakamtoa kwa nguvu juu alikuwa na nguvu wakinishikilia wakamtoa anaakalia akalia nikitolewa so mimi nikitolewa i think hapo hapo ndio wanjaro alikufa ju the next minute ninaongea na hawa madaktari nje si kuruhusiwa kuingia mm. nikaambiwa because it is it is late just go home you come tomorrow morning huh? we relax to go back home muende nyumbani mtakuja mm. i think that I think by the time I was just going Wanjero alikufa tu nikiwa tu hapa huko kwa hospitali. Mm. Even if alikufa na just six days mtu sijawahi muona akiwa eti amesidiwa na ugonjwa. After now, now I went back home nikalala usingizi unaweza pata. Huwezi mm. pata usingizi. Mm. Asubuhi na mapema six nikatoka na Mwenye tulikuwa tunakaa naye kwa nyumba. Nikasema wewe labda yeye hata alishasikia alipigiwa simu juu ye yeah, amejulikana. Labda hata alishasikia radio. Tukatoka naye 6 tutembee mguu. Sasa si kuenda tena kuomba usaidizi wa kuenda. Tukaenda. Kwa njia tu nikapokea simu. Hello, Morin. Uko wapi na bwana yako anauza kwa mushari? I felt bad. Imagine, hiyo kitu ilinipiga kama boom. Yaani uko wapi? Unafanya nene wewe ni, ni, ni bibi mjinga sana uko wapi na bwana yako wa kukomosha? Hakuna mtu ameshawahi niongelesha vibaya hivyo. Nani alipiga hiyo simu? Mwenye alipiga hiyo simu ni mtu wa family. Mm. I think huyo mtu alinichukia sana na alifurahia the death of my husband. Nani sawa tu? Ni mambo huzunguka na inapata watu I felt very bad si kujijua tena and I didn't reach Muranga Nikajipata tena niko nyumbani nikipata fahamu mm. so nikienda Muranga I was blocked hapo ndipo sasa radio kama ime no kila mali nasema Wanjaro ameaga Wanjaro ameaga mimi hata siwezi sikiza hizo watoto wako na msichana nyumbani na wale wako nyumbani wao ni wadogo they know nothing mimi sasa immediately wazazi wali realize when their son died hapo mm. ndipo nilianza nilipata shida hapo mm. ndipo shida zangu zilianza na hizo shida zimeandiandama mpaka leo hii but because god is faithful zinakuja kuisha amen so hapo hapo kai mwathani hapo sasa nikienda moshari hawataki nienda hawataki nifike hii moranga mara nini mara mm. nazungushwa naambiwa wewe sio bibi yake nini nini wameshakuja huko huko kwa shule wanasema hii gari nini hii gari ni ya mtoto wetu nini vitu mingi nikimechanganyikiwa watu wetu wote wako mbali i was really confused nikaka kama mjinga wow. usijuu niko peke yangu mm. nobody is on my side mm kila mtu anasema wazazi the family wale wanafaa kunishikilia ndio wanasema si kuwa hata kumusha ni wewe siona bwana yako hiyo kitu ina ni heart by the way ina ni heart mimi nikiskatu chini ama nisikie watu wanasema ama kwa radio ama anywhere somebody has lost her husband i ni huwa ninalia kabisa ninaweka tu mahali ninalia kabisa because nikipiti nikifikiria vile nilifeel wakati my husband passed huwa ninakuwa na uzuni mingi sana so wakaanza kufanya hizo vitu si kuitikiwa kwenda moshari hakuna siku nilimuona apart from sahile alikuwa ananipigania si kumuona tena i was mm. blocked from kuingia hapo moshari kuingia hata hiyo 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 peke muranga hospital nilikatazwa mm. mm. so mimi nikarudi kwa nyumba 
nikakaa tu nimezuba so nini mpango ilikuwa inaendelea the program for the burial mm. ilikuwa inaendelea even the eulogy they didn't recognize me first what if it were if not for the teachers and the musicians who knew me as the wife, wife. they didn't recognize me at first so waliandika mtu mwingine as the wife mtu mgani huyu the when you were yandika ni yule msichana alipata mtoto yes huyu first born why to sasa huyu ndiye alikuwa recognized mm. as the legal wife mm-hmm. mimi nikatupwa so i think hey. watu walikataa watu walikataa wakatoa jina ya huyo msichana wakaweka morin mm. i love of the siku ya burial wakasema mimi hata nisifike moshari but kwa sababu ya hawa hawa waimbaji na walimu waliaibika ili bidi sasa niende mm. nikaenda moshari kwa moshari wakaanza kupiga nduru watu wa muranga hey, Morin is here with the airplane. He want to take Mr. Njaru amba amfanyie am, burial Kisumu. Eh, umeshawahi kuona mtu ukikufiwa unachukua bwana wako una muzika kwenu. I really felt bad. Mimi hata sina ndege wala baiskili wala nini ya kubeba huyu. So sasa unasema ati unamweka kwa ndege umpeleke Kisumu. Yes, ni mpeleke Kisumu. Oh, Which was not true. Eh. Wazazi wangu pia wako hapo. Eh. So was familia yangu wamkakuja. My uncles wakakuja hey. so they were there. It was very badly. And I felt bad even right now sitakangi kuongea hiyo story because it tortures me. Nikisema I, I always feel very very bad. I always feel bad. Yeah. Hmm? So tukamtoa akapelekwa Hura Stadium people loved George people loved that man he was very humble friend ya kila mtu people loved him so much even right now mtu akisema Wanjaro people love him plus his songs well the students he touched their lives they love him kwa sababu alikuwa mtu mzuri it is good to be good so tukaenda watu wakamview tukapenda Muranga kwenda muraga sherehe ikaendelea tu vizuri before niingie na watoto na sikinaona mama mwingine ndio huyu amekaa hapo kwa coffin sijui ni nini ilimfanya akaanguka chini pup sijui vile sasa ali disappear tena after we after, later i learned that she was the mother of my first son sasa mwenye nilikuwa naishi naye mm. alikimbia pale mbele akifunga kichwa kama mkorino akasema eti yeye ndio bibi sasa akakaa pale kwa coffin but sijui ni nini ilimwangusha chini na he disappeared sijawahi muona tena na sikuwa nimemuona nimemface hivi the, 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 the seven years mm. to make her. the six years it na, was the seventh year ndio tukae na wanjaro hii miaka saba siwendi unalinda mtoto yes alikuwa ashakuja kuona Aja mtoto alikuja kuona mtoto all of a sudden kwa mazishi yeye ndio bibi yake yes na kwa hapo but the wasasi sijui walikuwa na wanampenda kwa nini i think ni wao walikuwa na shirikiana naye aje mm. so the burial went on well wanjaro wakazikwa it was on 17th february 2007 akazikwa we kai <laughs> na hii story yake ikaisha hapo so nikajikokota nika nikajikokota kwa sababu nyumbani hakuna mtu after the burial o familia wanakuja wanasema mama weka hapa tunataka kuongea they didn't do something like that wacha nikwambie even the mchango walimu walichanga ara marafiki walichanga waimbaji walichanga wazazi walibaki naye mimi nilitoka hapo after the burial ya wanjaro nikatoka na Jeff plus Kanyoro nikatoka nao tukarudi huko Gashanjiro Ivo hatuna anything tukarudi tukakaa hapa hii nyumba ilikuwa inanitocha because kila wakati ukiingia kwa nyumba una, alikuwa anapenda kukaa pale so hiyo nyumba ikaliki then another problem wasazi wanakuja eh hey, hey, sasa ni nini yani wananisumbua yani kazi yao wali walifurahi wanisumbue wame nisumbua nikaambia principal i can't stay here any longer wacha mimi nitoke niende nijitafutie maisha yangu na my two boys <laughs> nikatoka 
katoka nika Before nitoke kuna mtu alikuwa ananiongelesha ananiambia nilikuwa namwambia hiyo shida alikuwa mwimbaji akaniambia mimi kwa sababu niko na gari nitakusaidia kama ni kuhama uhame nikutafutie nyumba nilikuwa kama mjinga lin hiyo kitu ilifanya nikuwe kama mjinga mtu unakufiwa and i was still very young after the burial my parents told me you can't remain here lazima uchukue watoto tuende cause wanaona venye yes. unatreatiwa yes. nikamwambia no sita itikia kushindwa sita kuja nyumbani na mzigo tena ni nikupe mzigo maam nita struggle na, na hawa watoto mimi nitakaa tutakuwa tunaongea sita ishindwe tinirudi nyumbani sirudi nyumbani mimi nitakaa tu huko nyinyi endeni tu will be communicating they felt bad walikasirika sana but i stood to my stand si shindwi sirudi nyumbani na watoto wangu wawili so huyu huyu akanichukua wakati alikuwa ananichukua nilishakuwa depressed nikawa kama mjinga mm. nikitoka huko Gashanjiro mm. nikaenda na hata wao pia wani say yani wao ni ulisi eti unaenda wapi eh hey, ama kunaenda aje so after kocha after mmezika bwana yako yes, the same day atakulala hata nyumbani hata kuna mwenye anakuja kukuangalia unaendelea aje hapana wao walikuwa wana rush kukuja Gashanjiro kuchukua magari za wanjaro alikuwa na basi inabeba watu so wao walikuwa na rush kuchukua hizo alafu wana struggle ma documents ziko wapi ma id mm. unaona ndio ziko wapi wanataka ku process vitu haraka haraka mm. sasa mimi nikawa huyu mzee akaona niko mjinga bibi yake Mungu ambariki ah na mali yako juu alinitikia nikae na watoto wangu wawili kwake anatulisha tunalala hapo alikuwa na kaka sarani hapo seasons tukaka kwa nyumba yake vizuri hakunionyesha madharau mm. na maitubu isi bwanake alikuwa rafiki ya bwana eh walikuwa na juona na yeye mm, mm. tayari anaimba mm. so nikakaa hapo wakanitafutia place nikaweka salon wakanichukulia vitu ya salon huko keno wakaniletea hapo season wakanitafutia mahali so nafanya salon mbele ninaishi nyuma inafanyika kweli mm-hmm. i hate that you kazi ya salon sitaki hata kushika kichwa ya mtu juni na na kaatu ninafikiria what what is life maisha iko na madharau nilikuwa so bitter watu walifanya nikuwe very bitter mpaka ninashindwa msichana tulikuwa tunafanya na yeye anaitwa mudoni kwa hii salon hapa seasons so nimetoka kwa yule so niko on my own mm-hmm huyo msana aliona ninazidi kudidimia na kuwa mjinga kuwa depressed akaniambia Morin niko na sister yangu na yeye ni mzima wacha tu nikupeleke funga kazi nikupeleke akuongeleshe yule mama nilikaa kwake ni wazuri Mungu awabariki wa walinisaidia wakapeleka watoto wangu kasarani primary la city council Uyu mkubwa alikuwa class 4. Uyu mdogo alikuwa nasari. So walinitafutia hapo wakaongea na watu nikaingia, wakaingia shule. Sasa mimi hata nikikaa kwa salon na shindwa kufanya anything. Uyu mudhoni akanionea huruma akanipeleka kwa sister yake anaitwa Lucy. Lucy aliona mambo si mazuri. Mahali niko pia ninatafutwa. Mumeona Morin ameiba ame watoto wangu, ameabduct watoto wangu. Amekidnap vijana wangu wawili wadogo. Mumeona ninatafutwa. Na wao mafadha ilo wananitafuta kila mahali. Wananitafuta, wananitafuta. Sasa ninashindwa hata kutokea nje sasa nikaogopa. Huyu msichana wa Mudhoni akiona hivi akanipeleka kwa sister yake. Sister yake akasema ndio uteseke hivi hata hakuna kitu unaweza fanya umekuwa kama mjinga. Mm-hmm. I was really depressed lean. Nikakaa tena kwa hii nyumba ya huyu mama anafanya kila kitu akaona eh Morin hapana we achana na hiyo. Awali wameniangaisha pale kwa salon. Sasa ni hiyo salon ikaisha huyu Lucy akanichukua nikakaa kwake. Hmm. Nikazidi kuwa mjinga kanitafutia counselors wakani cancel wakaniongelesha wakaniongelesha misho kaniambia mimi sitaacha hawa watu wachukue vitu zako zote na uko na watoto wawili so hata Lucy alitoa watoto wangu kasarani primary 
akawapeleka Murema primary. Mm. Iko hapo Hunters. Mm. Wale Lucy alikuwa anaka. Mm. Sasa mimi nika Lucy akanipeleka town akanipeleka kwa Fida. Akazunguka huko kwa Fida mimi nimekaa tu kwa chini ni kama mimi ni mtoto wake sasa. I don't want to involve my parents. Staki waone nimeshindwa ama ninafinyika wakuje wanichukue. Na mimi ndio mkubwa nyumbani. Mm. Nilikataa kuambia hata sasa simu situmii sitaki kuwa kinipiga simu najifanya tu huyu Lucy ndiye alikuwa anawaongelesha mm. wakipiga simu mm. akanipeleka kwa Fida Fida wakanipatia loya loya akaanza kungangana na hii mambo mambo ya muziki in the process wakaribu wakauza hizi hizi magari wakauza hii basi wakauza shamba waka wakachukua pesa za muziki zilikuwa zinauzwa hapo River Road walichukua mimi nikienda kwa duka ninafukuzwa kama mbwa we ni nani unakuja hapa hata nikienda na watoto anaona kweli hawa ni wale watoto na walikuwa kwa mazishi Kai. hakuna mtu anataka kunitambua yani watu walini reject completely people mm. rejected me nikawa peke yangu so huyu hata kifuatilia after this after seven years kufuata hizi hizi hii walikuwa wameshaharibu everything so i want the case walikuwa nakuja wanajigamba sana kotini wananiangalia namna hii na madharau tulienda kotini huyo mama anaitwa Karen Kangethe yeye ndiye alichukua hiyo kesi yangu na ni mama mzuri kwa uko fida e kwa fida mm. so in the process Lucy akafa Lucy alikufa 2010 kesi haijaisha nikabaki peke yangu kama mjinga kwa so, huyu wakili ndiye alikuwa ananisaidia so nikatafuta nyumba mali nilikuwa ninakaa kwa plot ka single room ninakaa na my two boys nikawa mjinga na kuambia after Lucy kukufa siku anatoka kwa nyumba hata unakanyoro wakienda shule ninajifungia na kufuli i was reuniting kwa karai kwa sababu ni Sitaki kuona watu, sitaki kuona watu niko kwa nyumba, nene single room na double room. People are mocking me wana ni wa mama wana ni dara huwa naongea matope huko nje. Na I'm listening, ninasikia. He, nikitoka nikienda kwa duka, mimi ndio ninapointiwa. Yaani mimi nime went I have gone through hell. But mimi nitazidi kuwa strong kwa sababu Only God knows the truth. Yes. Myself and God. Na Mungu atanipigania. Ninasumbuka na mambo ya kesi. Ninasumbuka wazazi wanakuja wanatembea huko mali ninaka. Umeona Morin Wanjaru? Mama anaitwa Morira kwa na watoto wawili. Watu sasa wanamuliza unataka nini? Kuna mama mwingine hmm. anauza hapo. Anauza tu hapo karibu mali ninaka. Aliwauliza mbona unataka nini? Aliuliza mzee, unamtaka nini? Mm-hmm. Edi mimi hata nataka kumshoot saa hii. Ninataka hata kumuua kwa sababu amechukia hivyo. I don't know. Mimi hata hawajawahi niambia kwa nini walinichukia. Hivyo, hivyo sana hivyo. Asili sasa sijawahi leo. Kama ni makosa nilifanya kupenda kijana yao. Sijui. Basi jui they hate, they hate me. Hata saa hii hakuna mtu anashughulika. Sijui walinichukia sana huyu mzee kwa sababu huyu kijana aliona mama yake sorry to say but let the truth be sielewi kama walinichukia kwa sababu wanjaro hakukuwa mtoto wa huyo mzee mm. i just don't know mm-hmm. sielewi mm. so after hiki kitu, kitu waliuza kila kitu wakaribu hizo pesa za muziki mimi watu wananiangalia ni i have nothing He, walichukua kila kitu kesi ikiisha kila kitu ilikuwa imeenda lean mm. e story ni refu na ni mbaya mm. sasa niko na barua i have the mm, right the right barua kubwa inaonyesha everything muziki kila kitu kila kitu ni yangu lakini barua ni maua ni maua tu kwa sababu haiwezi nisaidia yes haiwezi nisaidia Waliuza kila kitu. Waliuza shamba Wanjaro walikuwa wamenunua maragwa. Wakauza ile shamba Wanjaro walizikwa penye kaburi yake. Even the grave 
there is no grave lean hata saa hii uniambie Maureen i have felt your story twende tu nionyeshe hata tumkumbuke i have nowhere nowhere even to take my son right now my son amemaliza ni mtu mkubwa saa hii ako na id ako amechukua id saa hii hakuna mahali ninaweza mwambia huku ni kwa nyumbani waliuza pale nyumbani hapa ni kaburi da baba yako alizikwa hakuna I have nothing. Hakuna waliuza mpaka hiyo kaburi na wakahama wakaenda somewhere I don't know. Na wao wananiona. Hata sasa wananiona. Wako na opportunity ya kuni reach juu ni wanajua namba yangu mimi sijui namba zao. Hawezi mm. nitafuta. Mm. Alafu huyu kijana mwingine walimchukua. Mm. Walimkanyaro. Kanyaro. Huyu mwingine anaitwa Jeff. Huyu eh. fast born huyu eh. mkubwa. Eh. Walimchukua. So one day I nilikuwa mgonjwa kabisa nikashikwa na chicken pox. Niko kwa nyumba nikaambia Kanyoro wakisha hii stuff tu kwa hii single room yangu. Wakisha stuff Jeff kimbia pale kwa duko nunue maziwa ya 20 bob ya kupima. Hivyo ndivyo huyo kijana alienda na hiyo pesa ya maziwa hivyo. Tulimtafuta na sasa nikapigia mama ya rafiki yangu alikuwa ananisaidia na tumetoka naye mbali. Mungu akubariki tu mama Grace. Wewe ndiye alikuja kanisaidia. Nilikuwa mgonjwa akasa, akaenda mpaka kwa polisi ku, ku, kutembea. Jeff ameenda nje ame eh mwisho ilisindikana. Eh. Na ilishindikana kabisa kaniambia Moreen weka tu. Katupige ripoti kwa wakili. Wakili alifuatilia akapata Jeff kwa nyumbani na wazazi. So he thought sijawahi jua ukweli mpaka leo wasazi jugu kali kuwa natembea tembea huku mm. labda alikutana naye akamfikisha mm. i don't know the truth lakini sasa alisikia kwa nyumbani yes wakili alifuatilia kaona kwa nyumbani eh. so sijua alimchukua ndio wanganganie mali ama nini mm. i just don't know mm. so hapa mimi nikabaki peke yangu i have nothing hakuna mtu wa kunishikilia mkono nikaanza ku struggle sina kazi ile salon niliacha nikapata shida Salon nimeacha nikaanza kufanya vibarua. Nimefanya vibarua. Naenda napikia watu. Ninafua. Nafanya na, na baby seat watoto. Na sasa hiyo bado niko na stress. Naomba Mungu nipatie tu peace niweze kufanya hii. At least kachoro aende shule na avae na hata yeye akae kama wale watoto wako na wazazi wao wote nime struggle tukate the story short mimi nime struggle nimejificha nimejificha hata watu walikuwa na shangaa Morina alienda wapi so last year kanyoro akasema mom you won't suffer anymore mimi nitakusaidia hata kama sina kitu kwa mkono yangu mm. mm. dad alikuwa anaimba na nime nimefuata fuata mm. kuna watu wana an through mm. youtube hiyo mm. ni last year sasa mm. kanyoro kaniambia nyimbo za baba yangu nitasiweka youtube na we pia kwa sababu uko na hiyo passion ya kuimba we wacha tuweke hata wewe nini utasaidika hapo upate hata pesa ushuke hata nywele hata ukue kama wa mama wengine juu ninaendanga kwa shule hapo ndipo aliniambia last year naendanga kwa shule siwezi soma siwezi fanya anything kwa sababu kila wakati lazima ninafikiri sasa leo nini imekuta my mom mm. ameenda kufanya kazi mahali pengine nini imemkuta mm. leo ameuliwa ama nini hiyo mm. kitu tortured the young boy young man kabisa kabisa so alinifungulia alafu akakuwa na hasira kabisa juu ya hii story ya life yetu mm. akajiongelelea akaji capture akaji capture akawechukua video akaweka youtube kwa hiyo channel yangu alinifungulia mm. mm. anaongea naongea na sema ni support ni support mama yangu nimeteseka sijui hata kwetu i don't know my grandmother i don't know my grandfather i don't know even the my my brother mm. mimi hata nikikutana nao siwezi wajua sina mali na hesa ita kwetu mwenye ako tu papa nisaidie so anaongea kijirecord mm. mm kinachoniuma ni ya kwamba hadi kaburi ya baba yangu siwezi kwenda hapo kwani shamba hiyo iliuzwa watu wa nyumbani nao vile walitukataa sina hata pale inaweza nyumbani sina pale inaweza ushago tumekaa Nairobi mimi na mama yangu 
na ndugu yangu mkubwa alikuwa anaitwa Jefza Kanyoro Njaro muda uliposonga wale watu wa nyumbani walipata kumchukua na hata sasa hivi sijui amelelewa vipi sijui anaendelea aje hatujawahi hata wasiliana na yeye hadi siku hii ya leo sasa kuna watu tu some people got touched with the story ya Kanyoro mtu mwingine simjui hata leo hii simjui mm. akafungua whatsapp group akafungulia Kanyoro watu walimchangia nikapata sh- nikapata school fees hii ya form 4 si just struggle na hata vitu mingi hiyo support imesaidia mm. na mimi nilimwambia don't want you to talk nonsense wacha na hiyo wacha tu to struggle aliweka kwa nguvu mm. aliweka cha nguvu akasema mm. i have to do something mm. I, i hope nitaomba itakusaidia mom mm-hmm. sitaenda shule ni kuacha hivyo mm. so nilipata pesa kanyoro akaenda shule hii hii mwaka nimelipa vizuri na watu walichanga pesa kanyoro akaniambia mam wewe uko na unaweza kuimba imba mm-hmm. imba nyimbo zako nikaimba nyimbo kumi audio na hiyo pesa tu watu wamechanga nikatoa video hizo kumi mama mwingine tu bibi ya mwimbaji akani connect na mtu anisaidie kwa youtube mm-hmm. kama kanyoro wako shule mm. anani drop ya tu one by one hivyo mm. ndivyo sasa nilitoka kwa limelight Kai. kanyoro ni amefanya last year nikatoka mm. mimi nilijificha kabisa sitaki kuona watu kanyoro kuririkana gani gari goneza kuririkana we doria kuranisha nawe azuri te rabi ni ndo amogidi joji ke umba we gani ke that okay people can really hurt you but god is able to bring some good people there are good people out there to bring some good people to give you peace i just pray maisha yangu itakuwa na amani ndio itakuwa tu na amani nimepitia through hell na watu wamenikosea the the important thing nothing now I've forgiven them. Wale watu wamenifanyia madharau, watu wote have just forgiven them. Ye mm-hmm. msikue na hofu mkiona Morin. Mm. I've give forgiven them. Mm. Na kama kuna mtu nimekosea bila mimi kujua, please just forgive me. Hii mm. maisha tusameana tena tupendane tu. Mm. There is no need ya ku ku hurt somebody very bad. Eh, ya kufanya mtu apitie through hell. Mm-hmm. Mimi nimefinyika na sasa sikuwa nataka kusema my story completely. Mm. Wewe ndio nimekuambia zingine sijawahi. Mm. Nilikuwa na protect na protect na kanyoro. Mm. Kwa sababu wao hawa watu wakinifanyia madhara wananinyanyasa. Nimejishusha chini lin. Nipate pesa ya kanyoro kuenda shule. Na kufu. kwa sababu kanyoro amemaliza form 4 na ninamuombea mbele ifunguke aendelee na masomo. Mm. Sita ngopa watu watafanya nini kama utaki kunipatia kazi if you don't want to support me mimi mimi na Mungu tutaswa na kanyoro mm, sasa mm, yes mm. nimesumbuka for a very long time leo nimesema nifunguke mm. nilikuwa na ficha hata hata mtu akiniuliza unaishi wapi i can't say kwa sababu ya my security and kanyoro security mm. nilikuwa najificha kabisa mm. uwezi sema siwezi sema mali ninaka mm. siwezi sema mali ninafanya kazi mm na wale watu wamenipatia kazi wamenipecha kula Mungu tu Mungu tu aongeze kuna mtu anaenda kuambia enda kwa duka enda kwa duka uchukue chakula na lipa na mpesa kuna mama amesimama na mimi na kuambia tangu tangu amesimama na mimi mpaka leo hii anaitwa Mata Mali huko tu Mungu akubariki tu amesimama na mimi kwake kanyoro wa kufri anaweza enda huko akae hmm. Yeye sasa ilifika mahali hata akaacha kunipea kazi amenichukulia kama sister yake anything nikiwa na burning issue yeye ananiambia hata wacha kuenda kufanya kazi huko unafanya kwa nini nakwambia bana i want kanyoro to finish from four at least anaweza kuwa na ID so mimi ushukuru kanyoro yes. amemaliza amemaliza mimi ushukuru mimi Mungu amenibariki na afya njema mm. na niko sawa mm. Mungu amenibariki na talent mm. i can sing yes eh? ata ni, ni kitu very funny i can sing in another language mm. oh!
ya my husband yendele mm. alikuwa anapendwa sana so nyimbo zake mm. narudia mm. part 2 mm. eh so mm. na mix hata ninayonaweza tengeneza nime, nimeomba kabisa kanyora na niambia just pray mm. upate ile passion tena ya, ku, ya salon yes. kwa sababu ukiwekfanya hii na ufanye hii mama utakuwa far i love you son na sasa ninangangana mm. as right now mm. niko na dry niko na vitu so ninapanga yes. god willing yes. ni mungu atanisaidia ni, niweke hata hiyo salon amen yes. na kuna umeenda therapy hapana mm. ah mm. sijaenda mahali mm. mm. ungetaka kukaa na professional therapist eh <laughs> wanalipa pesa mingi <laughs> wachana <laughs> na pesa hapa Wana wengine wanatokezeanga na... taburi so ungetaka oh, hiyo msaada ya professional Jesus therapist naweza penda mm. kwa sababu hizi vitu zimekataa kutoka eh. na na Ninajipata sasa sitaki kukaa na watu wengi mm. apart from marafiki zangu wako na wako very few mm. wafiki for mm. wale wa mama ninayesaenda kuongea nao mm. nisikie at least i'm relieved but unaona the fact sasa hii umeanza kuziongea na zinakutoka it's a good place to start unaona it's a good place to start eh. okay. mm. Hai. mtoto amemaliza KCSC amemaliza hii Monday imeisha huyo ataingia hata university eh? unaona ataingia mpaka university amen eh? e, ataingia mpaka university unaona hiyo kiti umekalia hakuna mtu anakujanga anakalia hiyo kiti na maisha yake inakuwa the same i'm a huge believer i'm a huge believer mm. mungu utumia hiyo ku change life mm. za watu na hata life yako haitakuwa the same and i'm proud of you sasa hii unaanza kuongea unajua lazima saa ingine uongee vitu ndio zikutoke leo nimeongea hata ile sijawahi sema uwezi jua kwa nini umeongea nimekufusu nime uongee no hizo imejitokea tu si ndio kanyoro nime kanyoro aliniambia just talk talk kama ni mbaya ni mbaya mama ikutoke wewe si ikutoke kabisa uko mm. relieved mm. na you forge ahead you, you see Evo, we you. forge ahead si yes. kweli we forge yes. ahead mimi ningetaka hata mm. kama ni a professional therapist afanye nini mkae na yeye muongee and i'm good to see kuna wamama wanakusupport Eh I know you have your friend Wamu. mwenye amekuleta mpaka hapa yes. leo. Si ndio? Amekuwa a total stranger. Ma, mwa, uwa na muangalia tu hata nimeshangaa. Eh. Mm. Wewe umeacha usingizi. Mm. Ukanileta hapa. Ha? Mtu nani anaweza chukua taja yake ya kulipeleke mahali? Hakuna. Tumetoka mbali. Yes. Huyu mama ameacha nyumba yake mm. na watoto wake akatoka all the way mm. akanileta mpaka hapa. Yes. So Mungu She is a very true friend of mine. Yes. Anajua mm. sijui alijua uchungu wapi mm. but she understands me. Yes. Yes. Na usi, ukiona watu kaa hao wanakuamini, mm. ujue kuna kitu ndani yako yenye Mungu anataka kutumia. Unaona kupea watu wengi hope. So mm. venye you are sana alisema mom forge ahead. ahead forge ahead na life yes. yako itabadilika itabadilika financially itabadilika hata mentally niko sure and i can bet on this kuna mtu ana watch show na atajitolea kukupatia therapy ya buri nimeona wengi kuna watu hata wataamua wakufungulie salon kuna watu wataamua hata hizo wimbo video ukitaka kuendelea kutoa watakutolea eh watakutolea so the best you can do ni kujiamini and forge ahead. Unaona? Yes. Yeah. Sayu na filaze. Leo nimekuwa relieved. Oh mimi. Sasa mimi nimeongea. Na mimi nashukuru wale wa mama wamenishikilia wengine hata siwajui. Mm. Ananipigia simu eti amesikia tu. Wanjero wanjero ako US. Mm. Mungu akubariki pasta. Ni pasta. Mm. Sara, amekuwa mzuri. Na pasta kule kanisa ninaenda naitwa pasta waweru mm. huko Roiro. Mm. Wale wote wamenisaidia wamesimama na mimi. 
Frank alisimama na kanyoro akamfungulia WhatsApp group simjui hata yuko simjui na hata yuko hako wa Kenya yes. alikuwa Somali yeah. alifundishwa na Wanjaro huko mm. Gashenjiro High School mm. ah watu wote wametusaidia na kanyoro singekuwa nimetoka kanyoro ndiye alinitoa kwa kuniweka kwa limelight mm. Watu wakatokea Mungu awabariki tu. Na wataim. Mungu tu awakumbuke na familia zenu na watu musi musikwe na shida mkose mtu wa kuwashika mkono. Mm. Mungu tu awabariki. Amen. Wamenishikilia. Mm. Familia wanjaro ungetaka wajue nini? Mimi hiyo familia ni nawapenda kwa sababu kama si wao singeona George. Unawapenda hata after hizo zote? Sasa lazima uwapende juu nitafanya nini? Mungu anasema neno la Mungu linasema to let go you have to love one another na love your enemy. So wame act kama my, my biggest enemy. Na they have made me go through hell. Ni tu hawezi jua mwenye the pain mwenyewe tu ndiye anajua. Mm. Mwenye ana go through pain ndiye anajua. Wao hawajui mm. but the, you You have made me go through hell. Mimi nime, nilikuwa hata nimekufa. Kama si we, Mungu alituma watu the few kunishika mkono. Mm. Ningekuwa mjinga kwa sababu nilishakuwa mjinga. Mm. Ah, mimi ninawaambia makosa ni kurudia. Kitu muhimu mu learn to do good. Bado kuna kijana yenu ameoa mimi nawaambia tu sina ubaya na wao niliwaachilia walifanya mengi but nimewaachilia mm. i've set you free sina hiyo kitu kwa roho yangu mm. kile kia muhimu ni amani mimi nataka amani yangu mm-hmm. Mungu awabariki mkae na amani yenu mm. yes hivyo tu nimewasamea hivyo tu yes Sindio. yes wow. na mimi as a parent mm. ninaomba Mungu kanyoro atakuja kuoa Mungu anipatie ile hekima ya kukaa na yule msichana ataletu wa kwangu aidha ni mzungu aidha ni mkisi aidha ni mkikuyu ama mjaluo ungetaka kuambia nini wa Kenya maneno ya mwisho na pia ka watu wangetaka kukusaidia wanaweza kusaidia aje mimi kuna mambo naweza fanya niko na nyimbo zangu na nyimbo za my late husband nimeziweka kwa YouTube. Unaweza enda usaj Morin Wanjaro Official. Mhm. Usaj wa Morin Wanjaro Official utaona nyimbo zangu. Mm-hmm. Please subscribe, yes. subscribe. Yeah. Leave a comment. You share widely. Mm-hmm. Unaweza nisaidia. Mm-hmm. Na huko nje najua Mungu atafanya miujiza na kutakuwa kuzuri. Mm-hmm. Those people who have clubs I can sing naweza niita i can sing ya niweze ku, kujisaidia mm. na kujisimamia mm. also ninaweza ku act kuna kitu nime act na kanyoro mm. i can act alafu ninajua kazi ya salon ni uwezo sina mm. ningependa sana kuweka salon mm. niko na vitu zingine mm. so kama uko hapo na unaweza nisaidia mm. at least ununua hata blood dry hata mm. kitu tu yani support yoyote ama unataka tu kuniongelesha mm. kunipe words of wisdom mm. words of encouragement unaweza nifikia namba yangu ni 0720 mm. 8769 68 yes jina full italeta nani kwa mpesa Italeta Molin mm. Omolo Omolo yes. Italeta Morin Omolo yes. Okay yes. Dudia namba tena If you want to reach me mm. my number is 0720876968 mm. Okay yes Aya basi na mtoto wako labda atakuwa amerudi Nairobi by the time he interview inatokea taiona online ungetaka kumwambia nini Kanyoro. Mm. I love you so much. Na thank you for the words of encouragement. Kukua na mimi. When I'm always down. Unanipea, unanipea hiyo nguvu. 
ya kuendelea mm. Mungu akubariki sana mm. na usishtuke kwa sababu umemaliza form 4 Mungu atafungua njia na utaendelea yes. na hata talenti yako ya uimbaji Mungu atakupeleka mbali mm. just have hope hata mimi sasa nakupea nguvu mm-hmm. jikaze tu mm. na always nakuambia learn to do good mambo mabaya achana naye Kanyoro Mungu atakupeleka mbali. Kwa matu kwa Mungu. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. Unaweza tuimbia kidogo Morin. Wimbo gani yoyote? Wendo ni moroto maga mundo ende mwendo wake. Ateko menya te matigo torani anake. Matiare maheti ama kwa mundo aneta kwendete. Ende mwada ni age kwenda muno na geguita. Dora gadi saya kuiria we wa hire na menyani wandigire katama idhuri koroko we wa dire ne kore adire si dadi kamaru wa mwendo agwire no tokonana naenda hivyo nilimkumbuka na hiyo na no mkonana maybe maybe yes maybe sinde yo yes. thank you so much and take heart yes i don't know why you decided to share your story with me but i believe it's going to inspire so many people and i can confidently say your life will never be the same again amen your life will never be the same again so it's not in vain and i know you are speaking on behalf of so many widows out yes, there yes. and i know they will be inspired na ivo to the women eh one day twendele one day mungu akinichalia ni naisa form ka group mm. ya kufundisha hawa wajane wajane mm. kuna wengine wanacho wakiwa very young they don't know where to start they go through hell mm. mungu tu awajalie mimi yes. ningekuwa na uwezo i can naweza weka kikundi mm. i talk to them mm. yes yes it is very important yes. to enlighten widows mm. wanaendanga through hell mm. Singependa mtu aende through ile kitu nilienda. Mm-hmm. Mungu atusaidie. Amen. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. And wow, uh, you know the more I host this show, the more I believe that God is trying to use it for something that even I myself don't understand. This was hard to host, but I believe no one sits in this chair na life yao inabaki kuwa the same. So my people, I know you will come through for Maureen and I can tell she needs a lot. Most importantly, she needs your words of encouragement and she definitely needs to see a professional therapist. Na since I'm saying already, if you are watching this and you are able to give her that support, please aki cheza tu ka wewe. Na pia watu wangu watuko, chezeni tu ka nyinyi. Mimi usema sasa hii acha kuambia, let's change her life. Let's show her that this is not the end and the fact that she's strong enough to even forgive people who have caused so much damage in her life that shows the kind of person that she's about to become and her son Aki me I don't know you I don't know where you are watching this show from daddy but thank you so much for sticking and you know holding your mom's hand and making her believe in her passion and even her vision again and thank you so much for even holding her hand me sikujui but wherever you are we tuko family we are proud of you so watu wangu watuko tuchezeni tuka sisi to change life ya Maureen for the better cuz i want nikikuja nikufanyie follow up sasa nimekwambia your life will never be the same ukasema ai ai mm. i want i want hey. ujione what god can do kwa sababu i know god is going to use you for something different so if you are watching this show her number is right here ndio hiyo hapo namba yake iko hapo you, you know just even kama uta whatsapp mu send ye some words of encouragement ama kama mnataka tumwekee hii salon whatever it is that you guys want us to do we will do because i know this woman's life will never be the same again how about we also head to her youtube channel and support her music watch subscribe 
comment and share and do not forget to say to consent you. That's it for today. Allow me to thank the legendary Edwin Ochieng who is the man behind the camera. Zile shida tumepitia leo tukirekord hii show siwezi wa hata kamera zake zimenyeshwa zilikuwa zimekata kufanya. So thank you so much Ed for everything you do on this uh, show and our amazing editors Yukabeth Mukami, David Moredi and Chebet for always making sure our audience get to experience the best of Tuko Talks. Hey, leo ni miongea sana. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of today's episode. If you want to share your story with me, send a well detailed brief of your story to my email DOE Hapa. It is also pinned on the comment section below. My name is Lynn Gugi. Thank you so much for watching and may God bless you. Thank you.